G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. In this episode, we're gonna start installing the gates. We have these gates. They're 3.6 meters long and about 1.7 meters high, and they're quite heavy. So we need to install a decent sized post to hang them off. So I've got a couple of 200 millimeter round posts to hang these from. So we have this post here installed and so the gate's going to swing off a new post that we need to install over here. And this post will just be the one that we latch it to. Like I said, it's a 3.6 meter gate. And so I've measured off the instructions that came with the kit say to allow at least 80 mil. So I'm gonna allow 100 mil. I've marked out on the ground here where I'm gonna dig my post. And if you saw my video recently about marking where our underground services go, I'll put some more paint on the ground to show where that service goes. So we are going to be very close to it. My 200 mil post will sit in the center here. And so I'm actually going to dig out a 400 by 400 mil hole for it. So decent sized hole. I will use the Ryobi to dig some of this out and then some of it's going to have to just be manu manually dug as well. We did have some rain just recently too, so that should help actually dig this down. So, so what I'm going to start with right now is just digging this out. The other thing I, I did was I've um, just painted on the ground the distance where the, where the post has to sit. So later on after I've dug all this out, I can use that as my guide so I've got my measurement right for showing where the post has to sit. So we'll grab some tools and start digging. All right, guys, next day here, ran out of time yesterday to finish this off. We got to 800 mil, I've just measured it. We're at 800 millimeters. I want to get to at least a meter. So hopefully this afternoon we can dig the extra couple hundred mil and then um, stand the post in here. That's the goal. We'll see how we go. We've hit the really hard clay though, so uh, I'm gonna try and use the Ryobi again. Not sure if we're almost at its maximum length um, to reach, so we'll see. Yeah, otherwise just keep digging. Okay, so we've just measured it. I'm down to a meter. So I'm very happy with that. I think that's where we're gonna stay. All right, so I'll bring a post around and we'll drop him in the hole and go from there. Well, that was easier than I thought. That's pretty close. 3.7 meters. There we go, guys. She's nice and level, got it braced, ready for concrete. Now, I'd love to concrete this afternoon, and I may have time, but I've sort of learnt my lesson that when I rush things, problems happen. So I've decided we'll get home tomorrow and do the concreting then. And then this post can then set before we hang the gate. So very happy though. I gotta say, the little Ryobi, <laughs> amazing tool. That clay that is so thick and sticky, it still just chews through that really easily. So this just keeps blowing me away to be honest. Like <laughs> very such an impressive tool. You would have seen I ended up digging four holes but sort of beside each other to get that size hole that we needed then um, just using that post hole digger just to lift out all the spoil that, that the Roby uh, would leave behind. So um, I rule quite an easy way, you know, way easier than digging it by hand and having to use that the whole way down or anything else. Um, you know, I could have hired a machine and got a 400 mil auger or something like that to do it and would have been done in no time. But 
you know, there's higher costs as well. So anyway, we will see you tomorrow and we'll do some concreting. straight into it and uh, yeah we've concreted our post in now which is good so we'll let that dry give that uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon we might come and do a bit or the following day and then we'll start looking at hanging the gate and I'm going to run a top rail across to our other fence as well so we can put some wire in here as well so um, pretty easy afternoon but my goodness it took a lot of concrete more than I probably expected to be honest but you know, it's a big hole it's deeper than what I had been doing too so anyway that's done we'll uh, be back later hey guys well it's been a couple of days now the concrete's hard so we'll remove these braces and try and get this gate installed this is the gate kit that I've purchased and it's just a white rural gate fitting kit. So it comes with a latch and attachments for that. This is what sits at the bottom. So we bolt it onto the fence post and then the gate sits down on this. And that will take the weight. And then this goes to the top as well. Uh, goes to the top of the gate and there's a spot there where that's it so this will just keep it off the timber fence post and that will then support it and coach screws go into there so the kit's good in the fact that it comes with all the coach screws that you need like I said the latch that goes on the other side so good little kit hopefully it's easy to install the gate all right let's do this guys so we've sat the gate there and we've found that this side here is just a little bit too high so as you can see we've put a piece of timber under there we've got a level on it to level it up so that looks about right and we just marked at the bottom where the bottom hinge has to sit so we'll now screw that on we should be able to then sit the gate on and then put the fixings on I think gate on and it swings up to where it hits these posts in front of us which <laughs> we'll move those out the way that's okay the only thing I don't like is the big gap yeah we even <laughs> we even measured off based on what the instructions said about it leaving a gap um, so I'm going to change that for the other one we do we'll put the fittings on here now and maybe we'll just put them on the end here sticking out because there'll be enough room for that I suppose I was envisaging installing it on the sides and then wrapping it around like that because this would have been closer but that's alright, it'll work okay so now that we've installed all of this it's nice and loose which is good but also bad because it leaves a massive gap there that we don't really like so because zip ties fix so much stuff had an idea that we can just test this out by tightening it here. Still got a bit more length than we need there. Yeah, let me pull it tighter. Yeah, okay. We're only just. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. Zippy ties, they fix everything. Guys, that's our gate install all done it was actually quite simple which is great always like the simpler ones as you saw we just had to fix that latch a little bit just to tighten it up so we didn't have as big a gap on there make sure no animals will escape 
So the only other thing I need to do is run a top rail across here and put some wire in. So I might actually try and get into that now. It's sort of getting later on in the afternoon, but I think we've got enough time. So we'll measure that to cut it and yeah, continue on. Okay, so I've got my top rail cut and I've just got a piece of timber on that side clamped there to hold it up there so it doesn't fall down. So it's basically just wedged in there at the moment, just sitting on there. And I've got these log support brackets that I thought should work for what we're doing. They are actually designed for these logs. But I think when I bought them, I thought I was going to be attaching them to the square posts. So they've got a flat edge. So they'll just nail onto the log and then, you know, sit like that basically. And that's what the rail will sit on. I'm not sure if you can buy ones that are designed for a curve here and a curve here. I haven't seen any. Maybe I need to have a better look, but they're going to hold for this little weight. You know, it's only a bit over one and a half meters long, so it'll be fine. So we'll nail on this and then we're almost done. Solid as a rock. guys got our gate installed we've got the top rail across there to join them up and we put the wire up there as well so good achievement for this afternoon I'm quite impressed with that very happy with how easy it was to install that gate too I still got more to go but that's all we've got time for in this episode thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you next time God bless <laughs>